so the wait for the Fantastic Four in the MCU is going to take a little bit longer, of course, but we know that throughout the MCU there's been a few little easter eggs here and there to their existence, or at least some of the existence from the comics. Of course, first up recently in Thor Ragnarok, we saw that they actually had a reference directly to the comics and the device that is used to actually bring people over to the Planet Hulk comic slash world. But now a very observant fan has found something rather interesting, and this time it involves time travel, Doctor Strange, the Time Stone, and the Fantastic Four reference, which is so insane that somebody looked this up that it's kind of shocking they were able to find anything. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but maybe not. So in the movie, when Doctor Strange is looking at possible outcomes, he says that he's seen 14,605 possible futures. And they all lost in every one of those except one of them. So somebody decided that the number 14 should put the big emphasis on the number 4. And then also on the number 605. So as it turns out in the 2012 issue of Fantastic Four hitting number 605, Reed Richards actually gets to see the future with his father. So yeah, either this is a very strange coincidence, or the Russo brothers were reading Hickman's run, and they decided to put it in there, which, honestly, I could see as something that they did, because they do read the comics, and if you guys have checked out the Infinity comics that came out with the Black Order and everything, they used a lot of elements of those to put them in here, so it would make a lot of sense to me that this was a nice little cool easter egg that they decided to put in the movie. Or maybe it is just a coincidence, but then if it is, that's kind of a strange one considering how it kind of relates to Mr. Fantastic looking at the future of possible outcomes and the fact that the number 605 matches up to it. So yeah, either coincidence or it was, I guess, maybe intended. Either way, it's really cool and I just can't wait for the Fantastic Four. It's, it's going to be a glorious day when that franchise is in the MCU.